everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my June wrap-up for 2022. This is part two out of two. I read a total of nine books, so if you're interested in the first five books that I read, I'll leave part one down below for you guys to check out. But here are the final four books that I read for the month of June, so without further ado, let us get started. The first book I'm going to talk about is I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney. I gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars. This follows an up-and-coming actress named Amy Sinclair who is hiding some very big secrets. After a big fight one night, Amy returns home to find her husband missing, but his car keys, wallet, and phone are still on the kitchen counter. She calls the police for help, but she can only tell them so much without revealing everything, and it's like the story of what actually happened to her husband. This was something else. I was into it until the ending and then it just took a turn that I did not want. I will say that I enjoyed the super short chapters and the alternating timelines between the past when Amy was a child and the present. I think that Amy was a great unreliable narrator and I really loved learning more about her from the flashbacks of her past. But the ending was just too much for me. There's also a lot of dark topics including spousal abuse, child abuse, animal abuse, and a rape scene so keep that in mind going into it. Overall the book had me at the beginning and then it just went downhill and I ended up giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I have is Blood Will Tell by Heather Shavaz and I give this a 3 out of 5 stars. This book follows Frankie, who has always protected her little sister, Izzy. Five years ago, Izzy was out partying in the woods with a few of her friends when Frankie received a very frantic phone call from a very drunk Izzy on the scene of a car accident. Six friends entered the woods, but only five returned that night. Years later, an Amber Alert is sounded for a disappearing teenager named Marina, and Frankie's truck is somehow linked to this disappearance, and so she has to figure out how to keep Izzy out of trouble this time. I think that this book started off very strong. I was totally invested, and then it began to drag in the middle and just completely fizzled out in the end. It had a very similar ending to I Know Who You are, which I think because I read that book right before this one, it kind of just seemed even more lackluster. I liked Frankie for the most part, but at times she was very annoying. She got herself into a lot of unrealistic situations that never should have happened if she just made smarter choices. I also think that Izzy and Frankie never had any real character development. Their characters were slotted into the protective older sister and the reckless younger sister, and that was about all we got from them. But I will say that I liked Frankie and Izzy's complicated sister relationship. I think that that was done really well. But like I said, I think it just fizzled out in the end, so I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. Next I have What His Wife Knew by Joe Jakeman, and I give this a 3 out of 5 stars. The body of Oscar Lomas is found at the bottom of a cliff after an argument with his wife Beth the night before. An envelope is found on the kitchen counter that says sorry, so his death is deemed a suicide. But Beth is convinced that her husband would never kill himself and so she is determined to find out what actually happened to her husband. This was a pretty average thriller in my opinion. I don't think it's anything different than what I've read from this genre before, which was a little bit disappointing. I did like all the characters and I do think that they were very well developed. I did like how unlikable all of these characters were and I do think that they weren't one-dimensional and had a lot of depth to them. There were so many lies and secrets that everybody in this book was hiding which was a lot of fun to try to uncover. I do think that the plot was well done and that the pacing was executed nicely, but I was able to call the big twist very early on, so that was a little disappointing for me, and therefore I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. And then the final book that I have is The Shadow House. This is by Anna Downs, and I give this a 3 out of 5 stars as well. This follows Alex, who is a single mother of two. She is trying to get away from an abusive relationship, and so she moves to Pine Ridge, which is a reclusive community surrounded by trees owned by a man named Kit. When she moves into her new home, she discovers some secrets and the folklore behind this community and a couple of secrets that the locals are hiding. I liked the alternating points of views in this. We get Alex's point of view, but we also get a woman named Rini, who is a woman who used to live in 
Pine Ridge, whose son disappeared many years ago. This is definitely a slow burn read, so if you're looking for something that's super fast paced, this is probably not the book for you, but I will say that I think that the incorporation of the supernatural was really well done in this. The biggest complaint that I have about the book and why I dropped a lot of stars is because of the romance. I just thought that it was completely unnecessary and I think that the book would have been a lot better if it had just been completely left out, but that may just be a me thing, but overall I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. Alright everybody, so those were the final four books that I read in the month of June. If you're interested in the other five books that I read for a total of nine books this month, then I will leave part one down below and you guys can check that out. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!